Renewable energy is a critical part of electricity production worldwide. 22% of U.S. energy generation came from renewables in 2022, and South Australia met more than 100% of their instantaneous load with solar production on a day in October 2022. As we push towards carbon neutral and clean energy targets, more solar energy systems will be deployed, and more fossil fuels will be retired. But what happens if solar systems are hacked? Most solar installations can be remotely monitored and controlled. If the wrong person gets access to these systems, they could send malicious dispatch controls, halt energy production, block view of solar plants, or even cause physical damage. CyberStrike is a hands-on cybersecurity training program funded by the U.S. Department of Energy. There are different implementations of the training for different critical infrastructure sectors, but all are designed to be accessible to students with varying levels of technical expertise. For instance, the Lights Out version of the training was developed to teach students about the 2015 and 2016 attacks on the Ukrainian power grid. This class found success by mixing in-depth training on power system cyber attack techniques and attack paths with hands-on exercises using real industrial equipment. Now, a new version of the training program called CyberStrike Storm Cloud has been created by Idaho National Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories. The program focuses on the emerging threats and attack vectors for solar energy, wind energy, and electric vehicle chargers. The solar modules for the training cover specific cybersecurity incidents related to solar energy and laboratory exercises mimic real-world adversarial and defense scenarios for students. The goal is for students to learn to proactively think about the risks and apply mitigations at their own organizations. CyberStrike Storm Cloud highlights real-world cyber events that have affected solar installations. Along the way, students learn how these classes of attacks could be prevented using secure-by-design principles for solar energy systems. Interspersed with the lecture components, students get an opportunity to run cyber attacks themselves on a representative solar network consisting of a single access tracker. The single access solar tracker hardware follows a light source to maximize power production. That is, until students push malicious firmware to the controller to interfere with production. A local HMI displays real-time measurements from the solar system, but students can also use a laptop to access web interfaces for the system. The labs are designed to complement the lecture material and show common security problems that exist with solar products and networks, as well as methods for better securing these environments. The U.S. Department of Energy and National Laboratory team welcomes everyone working in the renewable energy sector to take the CyberStrike Storm Cloud course through either an in-person training event or the forthcoming virtual version.